Yo what's going on guys, JBH here and welcome back to FIFA 18 for another brand new series. Today we are kicking off the tournament mode on the official World Cup edition of FIFA 18 and we'll be playing right through the tournament, well hopefully as far into the tournament as my home nation of England. Now we're going to be playing each game with accordance of the, well accordance with the real life schedule. Uh, now I can't say that for beyond the group stage because well as we've seen in recent years, it'll be lucky if England actually get out of the group stage. However, we do have a pretty decent group on paper. We should be able to beat Panama and Tunisia quite easily. However, once again, you just never know with England. I don't think we'll beat Belgium, although we will be giving it our all here on the official game. So, without any further ado, we'll jump straight into this group match. Uh, we'll group stage match. And this is Tunisia versus England. Obviously, we'll be playing in our away colours, which I really like the away kit this year. I love the sort of darkened cross in the, in the centre of the jersey. It's really, really cool. I uh, couldn't walk past it when I went and watched the Nigeria game in the friendly at Wembley. I had to go get one from the store. I didn't realise how cool they looked. But settings-wise, world-class is the difficulty. Ten minutes. Now, I do have... Actually, you can't see it here. I do have my own sort of custom slider set that I've imported from the FIFA OS community sliders page. It's basically just a slider set that makes the game ten times more realistic as what it is uh, well, with the default gameplay. But I'll go into more detail with that later. Starting lineup, as you can see, Vardy and Kane up front, Ali as the cam, Dyer and Henderson, the holding midfielders, Jones, Cahill and Walker at the back, Butland in goal, and Danny Rose and Kieran Trippier on the wings today. So without any further ado, we'll jump straight into this match and hopefully we can make it an easy win. Well, there's plenty of rivalry in every game in the World Cup, but special today. Tunisia versus England from Volgograd, and it's live. Well, in this competition, we've reached the group stage, Alan. Match day one. Yeah, one of those where you want to get off to a good start. Of course you do, so both sides aiming to do that. We are concentrating today on this main match from the FIFA World Cup. Our live game is Tunisia, and they face England. Well, there is a real sense of rivalry as the players sort of eye each other up, really. It's a very important game, and two countries that have a little bit of history playing against each other, Alan. Yeah, you can feel that extra edge in the stadium, really. I've seen some tasty clashes between these two countries, and I think we're in for another one here. And now it's time for the national anthems. Some of these England players will have experienced the horrors of the last World Cup when England were effectively eliminated after just two group games. Oh, it was a hideous campaign, wasn't it? And it's that old case of the shirt weighing too heavy with some of these England players. Just hope that's not the case again here. There have been some negative comments, haven't there, Alan, about the way this team defends. Do you see them as a very negative side? Well, they can be, uh, and I don't expect things to change today because they have achieved results off the back of it. Defend deep, defend in numbers, and uh, difficult to break down. Thank you. Enjoy this is again. the England side today. Jack Butland starts in goal. Danny Rose starts with Kieran Trippier as the wide defenders. Jordan Henderson plays with Delhi Alley in the centre of the park. In attack, Harry Kane starts up top with Jamie Vardy.
Alrighty, here we go. First game in the group stage. God, I've been so excited for this all week. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my FIFA 18 gameplay, I apologize for the camera mode that I use. I do prefer this sort of broadcast style camera mode as it does sort of give me a more realistic feel. But now we've just got to get one in early and then hopefully get rid of some of the nerves. I can't believe it's an offline FIFA match and I'm actually feeling nervous. Well, now they've got the ball. What are they gonna just do so it? worried about how this game is going to go tomorrow. I am playing this the day before that uh, the real life game happens. Man, what a crazy World Cup it's been so far. Walker. Of course, Iran leading the group with Portugal and Good Spain and France barely back. beating Australia. They, I feel like Australia, I mean, I'm not... Anderson. I'm, not really a big fan of Australia, but uh, I definitely feel like they should have won that game, or should have at least drawn that game. They didn't deserve to, to lose that. Henderson. Oh, Hendo. Have a hit. Oh, come on. Get it down. Oh, God, just... Skied it. I was trying to go for the top right corner, but yeah, muffled that. Nice. Go, Jamie. Go, Jamie. Looking for a through ball. Needs to stay cool now. Shot up. Oh, it's in. What? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> How did that get? <laughs> How did that go in? Oh my god, what a start. 13 minutes in. One more look at what happened earlier. Could the defender have done anything different, Alan? Well, maybe he's half turned away and that didn't help. If he's taken a deflection the and the goalkeeper's driving, just well, taken out his own player goal. instead of getting the ball. Gosh, that's almost identical to what happened to Australia in the France versus Australia game the other day. Wow. Well, one up. Attack here. Go away. Good cross into the near post. Oh, Goes well done, Jack. No, what was that? Well, that is a cheap piece of play to give the ball away like that. And oh, Jack. Jesus. Not far away at all. Well, if they keep creating chances, I'm sure they'll take one. That was a decent effort, you know. Tried for the through ball and he just passed it straight to him. Oh, lucky there. Delhi Alley. Go on, Delhi. Hold way, mate. Hold way. With some danger. Kay. Hit it. Kay. Yes. Two nil. He definitely had the last touch. Touch. Oh, I can't even speak English. Wow, what a finish. Boom, straight through him. God, this goalkeeper needs a freaking reaming after this game. Oh, even I could have saved that. What a start. Just widen the margin Two goals in two half nil. an hour. Ben Vardy and Kane both on the score sheet. Neatly intercepted. Uh, come on. Nice. Look, oh, get wrong person, FIFA. You. Why would I want to pass someone that's sitting on the ground? My God. Oh, it's good passing here. Oh, then they're going to do that. Still away, here. away. Half Shot oh, oh good save. I hope he can play like this in real life. May have just been curling away, but still got a glove to it. That's all that matters. Alright, first corner of the match. Here comes the corner. Nice. Defended well. well. Cleared. Now here's a chance to get at the opposition. 
Oh my god! What? What? <laughs> what are you guys doing? How the hell did he get to that ball? Oh my god. Alright, now we have something to think about. He can't have scored many better than this. With the bendies imparted onto the ball. Well, give him credit. You can what see are you exactly is that? what he set out oh, to do it's there. It's fucking Phil Jones, of course it is. Oh my god. Wow. 2 1. And we restart the game. 2 1. Ready. Return ball. Henderson. Oh, what a ball. Deli Alley. Come on, Harry. Oh. Well, he's cleared the danger. Well, they might not be rushing to take the corner. They're a goal to the good, of course. So I have to give a big shout out to the FIFA OS community sliders team that put these sliders together to make the game more realistic. So Pretty much what the sliders are is, well, I've got to go back a little bit. Actually, let me just take this corner first. Corner oh, here we go. Oh, good save. So, yeah, pretty much the game of FIFA is made slightly overpowered because, well, when you think about it, a full game of football can often go 90 minutes without a single goal, and it happens more often than not. So people aren't going to sit on their couch and play 90 minutes of football only to get nil draws so they have to sort Kyle of Walker. overpower the the gameplay and whatnot to or in order to uh to get goals to happen so that you well, can actually play these sort of 12 minute attack. games and somehow score five goals here. apiece but Dyer. what it does mean is that the game is not as realistic as what you would think it would be or uh, what you would sort of hope it for it to be and now moment, i'm one of those sort of game gamers in a and sim races that like my games to be as realistic as possible so, of Rally. course, this slider set just basically stops some of the overpowered stuff. So, makes the passes a little bit harder to get accurate. Little First here. touch is a little bit worse. Shooting's Danny not quite Rose. as overpowered. Uh, goalkeepers are a little bit better as well. So, it's just a lot of things that sort of all get put together to make the game feel a little bit more realistic. Real here we go. Handball! Put away, but not out of harm's way. Fleeting. Fortunately, no handballs on FIFA 18. Guided on by his head. Through Vardy. Got the ball still. Put it in, Delhi. Oh, God, horrible oh, shot. I'm going to try to curl that bottom right corner. It's all right, though. <laughs> still have the lead. That's the main thing. Just a bit of a shot goal from Tunisia there. Get through them, but they haven't. And now they can get on the ball and play. Well, All right, it's half time. time. Two, two one up. Got a very lucky goal to begin with, and then an awesome goal from Let's Harry Kane. But Harry Kane and that I must admit, half. it is mainly oh, due to this poor goalkeeping performance from minutes. Tunisia. However, a bit of a shot goal. A so it is two one. So, half-time stats, obviously a huge advantage in possession. Three shots on target, only five shots. I thought I had more than that, but hopefully we can increase that total in the second half. Pass accuracy, 87%, looking good. Shot accuracy, 60%. Unfortunately, we skied that one with uh, Henderson early in the beginning of that half, so definitely room to improve. Just got to get a decent second half under our belt. Alrighty, here we go. Time to get Second off under and let off game. and under away. In the World Cup here, England. Come on, England. Leading. Well, oh, they've been good value, Martin. They really have knocked the ball about really well. Opening He's them in. up with a through pass. Come on, Jamie. Yes. One minute in. One minute in. Well, he's doubled up here with his second goal, and he took it in 
excellent style, just like the first one. The goal, wherever you look at it, it was very well taken. Well, Jamie Vardy is having a party That's today. 3-1 it is now for Scorla. What a start. Ben Amor. Back. Stop the game for the free kick. Well, we got a free kick. A bit of a soft one, but we'll take it. All right, now this is the exact same spot as what we had the last one. So hopefully we can actually do something half decent this time. Actually, I might have a crack from here, Wiz. Let's get Dyer up to the plate. Oh, this does look very inviting. Oh, oh, straight oh, at the wall. They might have gone in under the wall, but they jumped to stop the higher free kick. We're looking for a couple of killer passes here from the attacking Put team. Put it in! Oh, <laughs> what a finish. Silky. on the World Cup stage. Just when England needed something special, Dali Ali produces. And for England, the celebrations of a goal that I think the players just looking at their Beautiful. body language, they believe the job is Clinical. done. Clinical. Yeah, Love it. Alright, well that pretty much seals it now. Two goals just after the stroke of half-time. Money. I don't think we expected this. Such a one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. Oh, here we go again. Oh, it's two. Two in a row for Ali. He's <laughs> running away with it now. Real team effort. understanding between those lads down there. Two for him on the day. And two very well-taken goals. That's a goal well worth analysing again. So I'll make a double change now. Take Danny Rose off, he's starting to get low on energy, and of course taking Harry Kane off as well. Just don't want to give up any injuries in this game now that we've pretty much sealed it. So it's two for Ali, two for Vardy, and that makes it five. Couldn't have asked for a better start to this World Cup. Here's Ali. On Rashford. Now can he take them on? Have a hit. Oh. He must have thought he'd scored from that distance. The keeper had other Just ideas. comes on and almost scores. Oh, done him. Delivered into the box. Oh. Defended well. So, so ridiculously close to scoring That's just then. And here they are on the oh, he's through. Shots on here. Oh, it's and another one. It's another one. It's six. It's a day he'll never forget. It's six. Holy crap. Well, what a game. Thought it may have been offside, but in the best way, hat trick for Vardy. He's hat -trick. Yeah, he's been a danger from the start. His work rate, his, his runs off the ball have been top class. It's coming home. It's coming home. I have to say, it's so one-sided today, but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. Gosh, it's almost like Tunisia have just switched off since half-time. the attack now. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. 
Well, this no. attack. Here's a chance. Oh. He looked to be maybe too precise, Alan. Yeah, I think so. Instead of just getting some power behind it, tried to be a bit too clever from close in. All right, so substitution for Tunisia. An opponent around him. That's good screening of the football. Taking on the Henderson. Oh, Shoots. my God. Oh, he's way off target. <laughs> Well, here we are looking at the fans who are keeping the ball and keeping the lead. Oh, come on. Well, they could pose some danger now. Danny Vardy for seven. Oh. Now. Some options now for the pass. Come on, Rashford. Come on, Rashford. Oh! The goalkeeper plunged to make the save. Ah, all right. The Full time score 6 1. Massive, massive win. We're only 2 1 up well, at half time, but then I don't know what happened. We seem to today. find lift off well, in the second half. And and Jamie Vardy, hat trick in the group player. stage. First game. Well, wow, what a match. Didn't a expect green, that scoreline. We only won 1 0 against Nigeria in sort of like a friendly I did on my channel a couple of weeks ago. But this was a massive win. their faces into the dirt and. Is the hallmark of a top side. So, it was plenty of goals in the end. We only had five shots in total after the first half, but 15. So, 10 in total in the second half brings the scoreline to 6-1 at the end of that match. So, 88% asked... Well, bleh. 88% pass accuracy, 73% shot accuracy, so we were much better in front of goal in the second half. 61% possession, so just dominated the ball all day long. I don't usually get that much possession, even if it is Tunisia, so... 8 tackles in total. Uh, didn't commit a foul. No yellow cards, no injuries, no red cards, so we got no one suspended or injured for the next game, which is the main outcome that we wanted. But no, what... A perfect end to the first match in the group stage. So we're going to head back out now to the main menu. And we'll see what the other groups ended up like. So Belgium 3-0 win over Panama means that they have gone and got the... Well, they were second, but of course they've played their game before we've played Panama. So they are, in, of course, in the lead. I think that was a... Just kind of a squeeze at what that result was. <laughs> Hold on. Not quite sure if I can find the results. Where can I look at results? Um, all right, maybe not. Okay, so group stages right now in our mode anyway. So Uruguay uh, managed to lose. I don't quite sure who against but Russia leading that group which is actually pretty much in accordance with real life right now anyway so Spain one point ahead of the Portuguese uh, we've got France leading group C which is always going to happen I'm surprised Australia haven't beaten either Peru or Denmark or at least drawn one of those games uh, Argentina on top in group D with Croatia and Nigeria tied for second and third. I would be surprised if uh, if Croatia didn't get out of that group in real life. Group H is Poland in the lead. Colombia in second. Our group, obviously, as it was. Germany in the lead in group F. Now, somehow, South Korea is coming second over Sweden and Mexico. It'll be close, I reckon, between Sweden and Mexico as to who gets out of group F. I have quite a lot of confidence in Sweden this year. I know they don't have Zlatan, but still. Uh, Costa Rica leading group E over Brazil. Wow. Interesting how FIFA gets to these results. Look, Serbia and Switzerland, second, uh, third and fourth. Would not have thought Costa Rica would have done that well in Group E, but of course it is FIFA, so you never know. Top scorers after the first week. Payet in the lead. Jamie Vardy is tied second on three goals with that hat-trick, and he hasn't even played his second game yet, so that'll be good. I'm not even sure if Payet's actually playing for France in real life this, this year. Uh, Messi in fifth... Got Ronaldo anywhere on here? No, no Ronaldo. 
Interesting. All right, so that concludes the first game here in the group stage for my 2018 FIFA World Cup tournament mode. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Stay tuned for England versus Panama. Panama. I can't even speak English anymore after that game. That'll be next week. Looking forward to that. Hopefully England can go and win this game against Tunisia tomorrow and in fine fashion. I, f I feel like if they can get a win against Tunisia and they can get a win against Panama and get decent results as well, that should give them a shit ton of confidence going up against Belgium because Belgium's going to be the telltale sign if we don't already go and uh, choke beforehand. <laughs> All right, guys, once again, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. Awesome win, 6-1. Stay tuned for next week. And until then, I'll catch you.